We did feed analysis on the corn, um, particularly since it's the first time we've tried it. I just, I wanted to see where it would end up if we were in the ballpark. The quality was good. I've found on our light gray land, probably max dry matter yield on a grain crop, like an oat crop or a triticale, as far as swath grazing go, is probably around that 4,000 pounds of dry matter. Whereas the corn, I think we're in around 7,000 pounds this year. So acre for acre, I can, I can leave more acres in grass production and have less acres in winter feeding. For supplementation, we're using hay, just rolling out a couple bales a day. I like using feeders, but uh, I, I, it, it's a bunk space issue. You need to, everybody needs to get their 10 pounds and uh, that's just not gonna happen with, uh, you know, with feeders. We're feeding a cereal forage mineral. It's like a high calcium magnesium mineral. We have had problems with, they just weren't consuming the mineral, so then we would force feed it. You'd mix a load of oat hulls or something and have the mineral in a pellet and, and yeah, then you would feed like it that way. Weekly, take a little. Yeah, that's, that's an option, weekly. You can take a little silage and, and uh, force mineral that way too, but it's not an issue this year. The benefits of using a nutritionist is I just don't want to be guessing what I'm actually giving the cows. I want, to, I want to know that I'm meeting their nutritional needs. Some of the varieties, if they're longer maturing, the cobs aren't developed and all of the energy is in the cobs. So um, they might stand a foot taller, but they're, really there's, there's no more energy in that plant than what there was in the shorter plant with the nice cobs. We know what's there, and then we, we know just over time, we, we know where they're getting most of their nutrition out of the corn in the first few days. And then that leads to us ramping up the, the silage later on. Corn is traditionally low in calcium, some years more than others. And I have had my corn tested over the years, and I deal with uh, one company that have mixed me a mineral mix for the past seven years. And I generally, have no trouble with cows cleaning or calving. We've experimented with swathing corn and standing corn on some test plots on a neighbor's and swathed it and feed tested it there and thought we could save it and keep better in the swath versus it was perfectly green in the swath and the standing corn looked like typical corn, kind of beat up, you wonder what the cows are going to eat. But when we did all the feed tests, tested exactly the same. So yes, you do have to use feed tests. Feed tests and keep experimenting. There's a science to it, a little more to it, I guess, than meets the eye.